refer to the Special Parent Organization, Parent Advisory Council PAC, has come in to support of extending the contract of school superintendent Paul Ballas. PAC is the oldest and the largest parent organization in the city of Bridgeport. The group represents between 7,000 to 9,000 parents in the city. PAC was, was shocked to learn that a press advisory leaked that the executive PAC knew nothing about by the Connecticut Working Families Party tonight at 4 o'clock was calling for Ballas' ouster gave the impression that PAC had come out against Ballas, which was very untrue. We support him full. Myself states, no one from the Connecticut Working Family Party ever bothered to ask us for our take on Mr. Ballas. No one asked our opinion. They completely ignored us. The bottom line is that Connecticut Working Families does not speak for myself or any other Bridgeport parents in the city. They have to spread false information and the press event is misleading and disrespectful, disrespectful to Bridgeport parents. Before Mr. Ballas arrival, Bridgeport schools faced a crippling budget deficit and devastating cut in education. In less than a year on the job, Mr. Ballas has closed an $18 million budget deficit that the last board couldn't do. Um, and made a series of improvements that directly impacted students. If someone starts something, they should be given a chance to finish the job. Get out of the way and let the man Dallas work. Now, on to the divided board. My first issue is, why would you hold a press conference in the middle of Dallas' evaluation prompting negativity? There is a great conflict of interest because you're sitting on the board. Why did you pay someone money for someone from Chicago to come in and clearly bash Dallas? The Dallas has brought new textbooks. There are new high schools coming in. He goes to the school and visits, and you've asked me how I know because I see their name up there every month on our calendar. And if he doesn't visit the school, one of his representatives does. I've seen Dr. Case and I've seen Dr. Callagher. So my thing to you is, what specific issue do you have against Dallas? For the most part. Parents here in Bridgeport are pro valid and we will not stand or tolerate any unnecessary comments. You guys are very intimidated by us because we are a strong group of parents who cannot be bought. With the divided board, by the time you guys finish our joint and bickering, half the parents are gone by 8 o'clock. And how do I know that? Because I'm at every meeting, every forum, wherever I, you guys are, that's where I am. To address what went on today, to Gloria Warner, parent of Chicago Public School, Student, how much were you paying to come here? To address Joanne Kennedy, parent of two Christian public school parents, why haven't I seen you at impact meetings? I run every last one of them and I'm always there. To former state Senator Gomez, what part do you play in the Bridgeport school system? Is it because of the word former? And to Sayuda and Maria, no comment because I've asked not to address the board, but I would like to read this in my closing. Is it any wonder why the state took over the school two years ago? Is it because of these jokers? The Working Families Party has always been a source of the Board of Ed dysfunction, and in my opinion, the first meeting when the board got back together, I saw dysfunction right then and there. They haven't even finished the evaluation process, and they're already calling for his firing, and they're bringing in a parent from Chicago who paid for her flight. They are really desperate because they know parents overwhelmingly support ballots and it terrifies them, as I previously said in my statement. So they start playing their political games again. The two names that I shall not name need to resign. They are an embarrassment to Bridgeport and they are hurting students and students with their failed leadership. And once again, I thank you all for listening. The high school dropout rate in Bridgeport is terrible. And we haven't had a rally for that. That's right. Where's the rally? Where's the rally? My name is Dr. Bellingham. I'm the Jersey Pack bilingual secretary, and I'm here for what? Nine years in Bridgeport, coming from New York. And Mr. Wallace, you're not going nowhere. You stay with us. <laughs> when people do a lot of change, people get upset, get mad. That's what Mr. Wallace is doing. A lot of things, good things for the school because he's doing a great job. And he changed a lot of the high school. He's doing a lot of things for the high school guys. A lot of things for all schools when he's here from Bridgeport. So why you complain when he changed the school? What do you mean? In Chicago, with your respect, 
just pick it up as well, and I just go over there. You know, fix your problems over there, because Bridgeport is fixing the problems with the house. in the district pack and tonight all I would like to say is that we need to trust the uh, process. We cannot change the world in one year. He's only been here one year and only great things are here. It's easy to judge and point fingers. But my concern is when you have board members going out of the way and doing things as a board, we have a board, this is the district pack board, we all want and if there's people here sitting down the board and we're supposed to be working with families together, we just find out about this going on tonight, last night. So if you're really working together, where's the communication here? Something is not right, we need to fix it. Thank you. My daughter is doing well. I have seen more changes in one year's time in our system than I've seen in 35 years years in this city. The neglect that our children have suffered through for whatever reasons that, you know, our education system just was running amok here. It was not about the children. It was about in-house bickering. Whose uh, party is better than the other party? And I I'm not here to name names because I don't have any. This has been going on too long for me to keep track of that many names. But the only name on my mind right now is Mr. Paul Vallis. And I hope that you will at least give him an opportunity to finish what he has started here. You can't, they say Rome wasn't built in a day. You can't fix this city's problems in one year.